Now let's have a practice. Green is for whistle, red is for stop, orange is for our eight second break. So no matter what, kids, green means whistle. Okay, now we've got five minutes still in the sun and this is it. Ladies and gentlemen, can you all hear me even at the back? Fantastic. From just walking around now, I'm really comfortable that the guidelines were, were stuck to during the practice attempt. So all you need to do is that exact same thing again. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Pete Fairbairn and I am an official Guinness World Records adjudicator. And I am authorised through my training in London to decide whether today's attempt for the most people whistling simultaneously is successful in achieving a new Guinness World Records title. The guidelines are that you must whistle for five minutes, that your breaks are no longer than 10 seconds, that each individual independent steward must have no more than 50 people under his or her supervision. And if all of those things are achieved and the requisite number of people are here today to beat the previous record, then a new Guinness World Records title will be set. Do you all understand the stipulations of what you have to do today? Yes! yes! Fantastic. I'll start the attempt with a countdown. Yes! This is an official Guinness World Records attempt for the most people whistling. You may start in three, two, one, go. Get ready for the break coming up. You sound great. Break. Okay, eight seconds. Breathe. Take a sip of your water. Now we're doing it for eight seconds. Oh, go! Get ready for a break. You're doing excellent. Break. Take a breath. Take a sip of that water. You're doing so good. Get ready. Get ready for your break.
Come on, kids. Okay, what we need now is all the stewards to meet us here at the stage and uh, meet with Peter from Guinness World Records so we can go through uh, all the numbers and if we did have any disqualifications, we'll just sort that out. We'll only just be a, a couple of minutes before we uh, find out if we did break the record here in Cairns. Okay, I think we're all set, all the figures, all the numbers are in. I'll hand it over to uh, Peter Fairburn. He's the Guinness World Record adjudicator here in Cairns. Once again, welcome to Cairns, and hopefully we've done it. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, can you all hear me right back there at the back? Fantastic. Firstly, I want to commend each and every one of you for coming out today and participating in this Guinness World Records title attempt for the most people whistling. You've been an absolute credit to your community. You should all be very proud of yourselves and give yourselves a very big round of applause. I want to thank everybody involved in the logistics of setting up today's event. From the Guinness World Records perspective, all the rules and guidelines have been, have been adhered to. Uh, the setup's been fantastic. And, and Chris uh, Kingsbury from Totally Workwear and Danae Jones have been an absolute pleasure to deal with. So thank you very much to everybody, to the Salvation Army, to all the vendors and everyone involved for today's CFM. I want to reserve a special thanks for the independent stewards who I thought did a fantastic job. It's not easy um, having to, to make some tough decisions on whether some people are going to be disqualified or not. And I'm very uh, comfortable that every one of the stewards did their job completely independently and was able to make um, a, a valued uh, contribution to the day and, and a good judgement call. So thank you very much to the stewards. And now to the moment you've all been waiting for. As I mentioned earlier, I'm officially authorised by Guinness World Records to adjudicate Guinness World Records title attempts and I'm one of only two people in Asia Pacific entitled to do so. So it's my great pleasure to be here. The total number of people who registered for today's event via the pre-registration on the website was 1,067. The existing record for the most people whistling in one place prior to today was for 853. I've already thanked the stewards. The total number of people disqualified for not completing the full five minutes today was 38 people. So ladies and gentlemen, the record to beat was 853. If you add the 38 on top of that, it makes it 891 people here today that were required to break the Guinness World Records title for the most people whistling in one place. The total number of people here today competing in this Guinness World Records title attempt was 688. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, you haven't broken the Guinness World Records title today. However, you should all be commended for a fantastic effort. As I say, you're an absolute credit to your community. And I really wholeheartedly mean it when I say it's been an absolute privilege and a real pleasure to be here with the people of Cairns. So thank you very much and I hope to see you again in the future. Thank you very much, uh, Peter. Well, we're all the winners here in Cairns. Those people who slept in and didn't get here, they're the losers. So give yourselves a round of applause again. We're the winners here. I'd like to uh, bring up from Totally Workwear, he's been uh, working for about 10 months to get this organised from Totally Workwear, Chris Kingsbury. Give him a round of applause, he's done well. You're all winners, the whole lot of you. You got out of bed. Fantastic. So, sleepy heads, they lose, you all win. Kids, you did a great job, I'm just so proud to be standing here and looking at this huge crowd of red, I love it. You, I just can't thank you all enough. Where do we start thanking people? Well, let's start at the team of guys that got in here tonight, last night at 10.30 and put it together. And then there's just so many people. The Rotary Clubs of Cairns, so special. Cairns North Club, cooked every single one of those Bradley Rolls, backed up by the other Rotary Clubs, members of the six clubs in Cairns, did you know that? So members from all the other clubs backed up and helped. We've got uh, our major sponsors, Cairns Post, CFM, Salvation Army, a few of them got up and whistled too when they weren't working hard. McDonald's, very important. 
Uh, you'll have anyone who registered and participated gets a brekkie voucher, or sorry, sorry, a meal voucher to enjoy at McDonald's. Uh, face painters and body painters and cans down there. When all this winds up, take the kids down, dress them up in a bit of face paint, have a few laughs. Also, the sipping duck coffee van. Um, and we've got uh, the Sorry, the Beta Barista and Cafe on the go. Now the Salvos have just informed me that there's still Brecky Rolls left and they're free. Okay, so don't leave me yet, but they're free. So look, thanks very much everybody. We didn't quite get the record. My staff have threatened me with death if I do it again. But, but, but if any of you think later on in several months time that you want to have a crack at it, if the record doesn't move or whether it has doesn't matter, if you want to, we'll do some sort of poll many months from now and see if you can stand it again. At least you'll know what to do. And if you've got any friends that stayed in bed and didn't make it, you know what to do, don't you? So look, thank you very, very much. I'm just trying to think if I've forgotten to thank anybody. Um, I'm really scratching my head now. But look, it's been great. Thanks to my Tali Workwear team for working tirelessly over the last few weeks or months. And many of them worked last night and here again today. All the ladies and the men that were in the registration team that they don't even get in the Cairns Post record, they just did it out of the good of their hearts. But everyone who registered, have a look at the paper on Tuesday the 1st of November. For the first time in history, I believe, there's going to be an honour scroll listing all your names. And if you're here with your daughter or son, you'll be there stacked up under surnames. And no one's ever done that before, so check it out on Tuesday. And uh, thank you so much.